Well, here's what it looks like in downtown Portland above the Steel Bridge. Quite a bit of sunshine right now. Temperatures, though, still running below average. The average high this time of year, 58 out at PDX. We're catching a live snow flurry at Mount Hood Meadows. That's really nice because we won't see much more snow this week. We had about a foot of snow yesterday up at Meadows. Through the gorge, a mix of clouds and sunshine there with scattered showers on and off this morning. And look at all the blue skies in Astoria. A sign of things to come. We have a lot of sunshine to look for. Forward to out along the coast and just about everywhere across the state for the rest of the week. It's 50 right now in Portland, Salem, and Eugene, 41 in Bend. Good afternoon to those of you in Baker City. We've had snow showers there this morning, 43 degrees there. Here's the plan for today partly sunny skies, just a mix of those cumulus clouds and a few sun breaks. Can't rule out a few stray showers, especially east of the Cascades, but I think most of the rest of the day is dry. 7 o'clock, clearing skies at sunset, beautiful sunset tonight. And and then temperatures will fall off pretty quickly because we'll have clear skies that'll allow the heat of the day to escape into the atmosphere. Radar right now is quiet in the Willamette Valley and a lot of southwest Washington. You'll notice once we head into the mountains and uh, the coast range, we do have a few light scattered showers above about 3,500 feet. It's coming down as snow up over Mount Hood in the variety of a light, light uh, snow flurries. Area of low pressure responsible for the precipitation across the west. That is going to move out of here and in its place, a ridge of high pressure. You'll see the storm track headed well to our north. That's going to dominate the rest of the week. It'll allow us to dry out, warm up, and it'll bring a lot of sunshine too. So let's zip on through your rain and cloud forecast. Here's five this evening. Still a mix of clouds west of the Cascades. Bright sunshine along the coast. East of the mountains pop up showers around and then they all move down to the south as the moisture gets out of here. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we could have some patches of fog across the state, but a lot of us wake up to sunshine, and sunshine dominates the rest of the week. You'll notice this clock is moving, but you're not seeing anything because we're going to see uh, clear conditions just about every day. So some details, headlines on the big warm-up ahead. Here's what I'm thinking. Warming up each day, at first just a little bit. Tomorrow we'll be in the low 60s, this afternoon the mid-50s. But by Thursday and Friday, we're talking in the first 70s of 2016, which is right on the money. Well, here's some uh, trivia for you on 70 degree days at PDX. March 30th is the average first 70 degree day at the airport. The earliest we've ever done it, February 28th, and the latest, May 5th. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Looking pretty nice. Mainly dry this afternoon. Clouds and sun breaks. Potentially some areas of fog early tomorrow, but high temperatures in the 60s. Closer to 70 on Wednesday. Some spots could touch 70. And then Thursday and Friday will be very warm. Maybe shorts weather for the kids that are back in school this week after spring break. Still pretty sunny on Saturday with the next chance of showers after today, Sunday. Pretty mm. nice. Yeah.